Each movie has been different, and each movie has given us some fantastic standout scenes. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 moments from the Cloverfield franchise. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at 10 of the scariest, most exciting, and most emotionally impactful moments from all three Cloverfield movies. We'll obviously be discussing some major and important scenes from the series, so a spoiler warning is in effect. Number 10, Rescuing Beth, Cloverfield. You guys hear that? You guys hear that? Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah, I think we're getting close. We have to say, traversing a dark New York City with a gigantic monster on the loose to save your trapped girlfriend must suck. The scene where the group finally reaches Beth's apartment is one of the movie's most inventive. It employs some low-budget yet convincing filmmaking techniques to show the collapsed building, and seeing Beth impaled on the piece of rebar is one of the movie's most gut-wrenching moments. The sound design is also incredible, as we go from dead quiet while the group's rescuing Beth to literally explosive as they make their escape. <laughs> The scene is a brilliant combination of visuals, sounds, and emotions. Number nine, Jensen in the Wall, the Cloverfield Paradox. Uh, guys, check out my arm. Not too many people enjoyed the Cloverfield Paradox, but it still contains like one good scene. Once Earth disappears and the strange events begin to occur, the group finds Mina Jensen trapped inside a wall of the station, fused with the power lines. <laughs> Seeing a bloody woman with power lines running through her skin is enough to make anyone squirm, and Elizabeth Debicki's acting nicely conveys Jensen's fear and pain of being, you know, fused to electrical wires. It's a nicely directed and acted scene that shows what the Cloverfield Paradox could have been had it been given a tighter script. Would you mind mentioning to your crew that your escaping my dimension will trap me in yours? Number eight, the Brooklyn Bridge Collapse, Cloverfield. The Brooklyn Bridge sequence is easily one of the scariest moments of the entire franchise, though it has nothing to do with Clover itself. While Clover destroying the bridge is certainly scary, it's actually the realism of the scene that truly makes it stand out. The way in which the scene is shot perfectly conveys the panic and anxiety that comes with being stuck in large groups. Characters are confused and unable to communicate, they're all packed into a small space, and everyone resorts to an everyman-for-themselves mentality once Clover destroys the bridge, resulting in sheer, dangerous pandemonium. It's a monster movie that still finds time for real-world anxieties. Number 7, The Woman, 10 Cloverfield Lane. Throughout the first third of this movie, we try to grasp what Howard is telling Michelle about the supposedly toxic surface. Is he telling the truth, or is he just BSing to prevent Michelle from escaping? It's a fantastic mind game that perfectly encapsulates the fears and anxieties of 10 Cloverfield Lane. And then, the freaky woman shows up and seemingly puts that debate to rest. There's a woman! She... Open the door! It's okay, I, I, I just, I, I want to come inside. She looks hurt, she wants me to let her in! Do not let her in! It's a well-acted scene that forces Michelle to grapple with her beliefs and morality. Does she still try to escape? Does she rescue the woman? Does she listen to Howard? These thoughts race through our heads, leading to an unbearably tense yet incredibly entertaining sequence. You open the door! Open it! She's begging me! You can't help her! No one can! It'll be okay! Number six, dinner, 10 Cloverfield Lane. Megan was a good cook. You'll learn to love cooking. We've all sat through our share of awkward and tense dinners, but oh boy, does this one ever take the cake. Anxiety just permeates this scene, from Howard awkwardly looking at Michelle, to Howard flexing his hands after Emmett jokes about Monopoly, to Howard blowing up after Michelle flirts with Emmett. 
So basically everything Howard does. Is that how you thank me for saving your life? 10 Cloverfield Lane forgoes its predecessor's penchant for monster scares and instead presents a deliriously tense and anxious experience. The dinner scene is a perfect representation of its unique style of horror. You trying to insult me here in the shelter that I built that's keeping you alive? You don't think I see what you just did? Number five, face to face, Cloverfield. What is that? We certainly get full body glimpses of Clover throughout Cloverfield, but we were never able to get a good read on its face. That is, until the ending, when it finally comes face to face with HUD. After the monster knocks down his helicopter, HUD finds himself directly underneath Clover, who gives him a good long stare before gobbling him up. What? Oh! Oh no! It's curious that the characters didn't hear this gigantic monster approaching behind them, but whatever. It's a great moment to end the movie on, as we finally get a horrifying look at the monster that has been terrorizing the city, and its face lived up to our imaginations. Number 4. Michelle vs. the Alien Spacecraft, 10 Cloverfield Lane Many people did not like the ending of 10 Cloverfield Lane, as its overt alien action betrayed the more personal horror of the previous 90 or so minutes. We watch as Michelle runs from alien creatures, protects herself from a poisonous gas, and is attacked by the alien spacecraft itself. The battle then ends in true Hollywood fashion as Michelle makes a Molotov cocktail, obliterating the spacecraft in a spectacular explosion. We can see why some people have a problem with the tonal shift, but it's still good action, and a spectacle worthy of the big screen. Number 3. Bombing Clover Cloverfield oh, God. Now this is how you end a monster movie. After being escorted out of the city in a helicopter, Rob, Beth, and Hud watch in horror and excitement in equal measure as the military drops bombs on Clover. Oh my God. It's an incredible spectacle, complete with a full view of Clover, booming explosions, Hud's excited exclamations, and the hilarious sight of Clover bonking its head against a skyscraper. But like most good horror villains, Clover appears for one more scare as it emerges from the smoke and knocks the helicopter out of the air. For a movie that only cost $25 million, Cloverfield looks and sounds absolutely incredible. Number 2. Howard Kills Emmett, 10 Cloverfield Lane One chance to answer with some dignity or I swear to God you're going into this barrel while you're alive to feel it. It was me. After discovering some of his tools and materials to be missing, Howard threatens both Emmett and Michelle with a vat of acid. Emmett takes full responsibility, and Howard shoots him in the face, much to Michelle's, and our, surprise and horror. I'm sorry. I accept your apology. The way the scene is shot and directed is brilliant, as we feel slightly more comfortable once Michelle is at ease, only for Howard's gun to subtly make its way into the frame. While we may initially feel disbelief and shock, the booming and lingering sound of the gunshot and the focus on Michelle's horrified reaction makes the death seem real. It's a great scene at the hands of a great director. You should go to your room now. This next part is something you need to see. Number 1. The Subway, Cloverfield Arguably the scariest scene of the first movie, and the entire franchise, doesn't even involve Clover, but its little monster companions. After getting caught in the middle of a gunfight, the characters run into the subway, where they traverse the dark and empty tunnels. Of course, they aren't alone, as parasitic creatures soon attack and fatally injure Marlena. <laughs> The scene preys on our intrinsic fear of the dark, the quiet enclosed spaces, and parasitic alien creatures. It's also effective on a purely visceral level. The convincing CGI, amazing sound design, and shaky camera work all put us directly within the violent attack. It's a horrifying scene no matter how you approach it. Run, 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 run! Run! Yeah, run! You guys, run! Oh, 
Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.